Self-defense myth number 21. All fights go to the ground. No, they don't. Fights between people who don't know what they're doing, or fights between two people who really know what they're doing, will tend to go to the ground, because most fights start at about a foot and a half, yelling at each other, threatening each other, what are you going to do, what are you going to do, we'll do something then. Uh, if the first shot doesn't land flush, they sort of grab onto each other as they're moving around, not knowing what they're doing, four legs crossing each other, two bodies hit the deck. Now, our bud, obviously, we do train grappling, uh, judo, greco-roman, and Brazilian jiu-jitsu. All very good for the ground. Our ground syllabus, however, is stripped to the bare essentials of get the person off you, get back up to your feet. So it's very, very rare that we would ever teach sweep the guy, sit in the pie for a, for a mount, fall back into an armbar. It's not what we're after. We're not after submissions. We're not after dominating on the ground. So although we do train for the ground, we train with an idea of not getting pulverized on the ground and getting back up. If we know what we're doing, again, broken record I know, but off the fence, off the fence, shot to the jaw, shot to the head, um, and then, then we're out of there. So we try to get it finished before it gets, it gets a chance to go to the ground. We need to learn how to finish in the first three seconds with the first few shots. We need to understand how to use a preemptive strike off the fence. Um, I will link a Jeff Thompson fence video into this clip. Although not every single fight does go to the ground, it is worth knowing what to do on the ground. However, we shouldn't be looking for takedowns. We shouldn't, you know, our takedowns in the Arbor syllabus is if we just hit you really hard or kick you in the pills and we grab you by the shoulders and pull you down face first. We don't go for a double leg or a single leg. We're not going for fancy takedowns because we don't want to be on the ground because we know that fights aren't going to be one on one. This seems like information for another clip. Um, so, not all. Not all fights are going to go to the ground. A great majority of fights will go to the ground if they're not finished in the first few seconds. Um, again, I'm looking at self-defense type of fight situations, not a match fight where you know it's, it's two guys who sort of have had an argument and they've agreed to go to the back of a pub car park. That's a match fight, which, again, the other clip, the three siblings, which I'll link here. Martial arts, match fighting, self-defense, they're different things. They require a different mindset because they've got different objectives. Any comments, questions, queries, or suggestions, please leave them in the box. I'll link the other clips I've just mentioned in the description box here. Until next time, stay safe.